Are we on? Oh, we're on. I see you're recording. All right, guys. Last couple second channel videos. We've been uh, toying around with the half haul here. Now the carburetor swap, it took me two days instead of one, so it has me running behind. We're a whole day behind already. Uh, I just now, in the last video that posted before this one on the second channel, we welded up the rear diff on it and we put a new uh, glass pack on this baby <laughs> did a little turn down action and we tuned on it a little more uh pretty happy with it i don't know why the hell i just walked over here hell I, i'm just doing lamps you know <laughs> uh i'm not thinking straight because i'm running behind because today i'd planned on taking that thing out to the other place i was going to try to clean up around there some after i pulled the datsun engine out of the little white 720 now that we did the battle with mortsky and we towed a gooseneck with that truck before we haul them all baby go <laughs> look at them case swisses white let him call him white lighting for nothing just digging he's got a good launch going i don't think he knows where he's going Yes, let's... I'd still say around a buck twenty. No way. I'm no, saying yeah. like I'm saying like two thirty to get up to the top of that hill. Might be in your truck. <laughs> oh! oh! Anyhow, I just got home. Uh, it's about three thirty. Just got hot rod picked up. I'm gonna load up what tools I think might get us half decent started out there. We're gonna get our crane for the back, and we probably got a couple hours worth of daylight till we lose the sun but we're still gonna get done what we can get dead yep we're gonna take some wrenches we're gonna take our sockets impact flashlight ratchet and doohickeys from the table we're just gonna grab pry bar snippers a couple screwdrivers locking pliers pot county speed wrench hand wipes pb blast gotta have that luby dooby We'll take the saws off. We'll take the uh, wrist saver. And what else could we possibly need? Maybe a longer pry bar. And I bet overall that gets us pretty far. What a cool little work trick. Take a couple jack stands because I don't know if I have any out there. I do have a jack out there, I know that. And lastly, I think we need to slap the crane on the back of it. Currently, the crane's installed on the Torola. Luckily, this thing's super duper light and uh, finagling through them vehicles was no problem at all. This thing should definitely keep people from tailgating us. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe those clear. What about this one? Just perfect. And we may just have to hook onto this truck and uh, drag it up out of the field. Uh, we've used this thing as a tow truck before except the original model the cherry picker is actually in the back of this thing that gets the weight more over the rear axle so i don't know we may have to just try it and see what happens y'all know i ain't scared mama didn't raise no punk right she's solid uh, i think we're ready to head that way maybe we'll knock the dust off these old girls where we can see all right here we go
much that enjoyed that uh it definitely would have been easier if i would have let off the parking brake i may have sort of kind of forgot to do that every time i was hopping in and out there uh, this does not look happy one bit but i drug this up here which is good uh i was we were gonna pull it down there in the weeds but i was like you know what if it's got decent enough tires on it where we can drag it up fairly easy we'll drag it up and i think those qualify as decent enough hey y'all remember the old uh oh what's that crap called that one metal can i used to use all the time for every will it run there it is We're gonna use the triple bald hooker to uh, chalk that baby. All right, this will be our first uh, engine pull out here, guys. Holy crap, they have been hauling butt on my house. I dang near got a house there. I treat that thing like out of sight, out of mind kind of thing, uh, cause I'm always just worried about getting y'all content. So every time I come out here and see what they've got done, I'm always surprised. With them disconnected, we can pull that thing forward to give us a little more work room actually we probably got pretty decent work room right there we may just have to take the crane to the back a few times but it'll be fine oh quick release hood <laughs> we can get down with that i forgot that was one of this ride's premium features so here's the dealio uh, i think i'm gonna let dnh classics come snatch up a few of these i'm gonna get rid of a few of them because i know there's some i'll certainly never do anything with kind of like this one but this engine was a good engine it was running great only problems out of it kind of like this thing up here these junk carburetors it had nothing to do with running this through my dad's field and all them weeds with this scoop with no breather and the hood off of it nothing at all dang we done had a bird make a nest up in here we got a new master cylinder on this rig so the front of this thing was hit uh, we had to swap that engine in there it wasn't even the one that come in the truck of course the uh interior is plum trash and it never had a bed the frame on this thing's plum rusted we put a gooseneck on her and some weights and we just beat the dog piss out of this thing and had a little fun with it but i'm okay with it hitting the road and leaving us uh, we'll keep what we want off of it and that's what we're doing we're gonna strip her down I'd say we got a lot of quick disconnect features on this truck. Uh, the hood, obviously. These fuel hoses as well. Dang, that fuel hose is acting like it's been on there for 20 years. That's okay. I got the I'm not asking right here. vibration from that shook that one clean off there see i i just scared it sometimes you scare it it'll cooperate radiator looks dry perfect there went our wiring and our coil wire <laughs> i forgot i had no brakes on this rig and i mean no brakes we're gonna get our radiator hoses uh, it looks like a lot of zip ties has a radiator held in here. Looks like all this wiring is just pulling right off, which is good. Got a heater hose and our main cable going down to our starter. Let's just take her a step at a time here. Well, I don't know how I wiggled this all down in here. There ain't no room to get to them fan bolts. It hurts me to say our fan shroud there is no longer with us. Even if we get this lower hose, I don't know we'll have enough room to slide that radiator out. There's it goes some good looking muddy water. Now, it wasn't just zip ties. We did have a couple bolts in her, come to find out. Oh, radiator. <laughs> well, I was just thinking maybe we'll check the oil on this thing. 
because we were running it kind of hard oil still looks fine uh i was hoping to not see any water in there i thought it was kind of weird there wasn't more water in the radiator and i just walked around here and discovered why now if you remember super duper close this engine come from tulsa it had a bad freeze plug ain't nothing left to do besides hope it seals on the back side i put it in here filled it up full of water it was leaking it's coming out between the transmission and the engine which is rather unfortunate because i can only assume one thing now on this uh old crappy engine I looked at that plug, but on the engine we're gonna put in the truck, did I look at it when I had all that separated? Nope. Now to pull it back out, replace the freeze plug on the back, and I slapped it back in. Oh yeah, baby. There you go. Get all that out of you. As I looked over here, do y'all see that right there? Uh-huh. And that would go right there. Uh-huh. So, yep. Anyhow. We're still going to pull this sucker. Whatever we decide to put it in, she's just going to need a little uh, plug-in again, I reckon. I'm pretty sure I put this one in there. I think I put two in it. One in the back, one in the side. That one does not look terribly old. Whoop! Nailed it. There's our fan. Get that old clunky out the way. I mean, guys, I actually think I have a truck in mind. We'll end up putting this engine in. We're nowhere close to that, but I may have found a kind of clean one that needs an engine. If I ever have time to get it, we'll, we'll see. Get this throttle cable popped off. Maybe. Let go. There we go. This thing had some exhaust on it. Did I swap? I don't remember. I can't believe I undid the exhaust on it. Learn something new about yourself every day. It's trying to do the right thing and unhook it there over here, but I ain't gonna fight it neither, okay? I tugged on it all over, whatever. Do y'all notice how much quieter it is out here? Uh, you, what you don't get to see is I ain't got to stop every two minutes because I'm trying to talk and big rigs come by and people's honking at me and everything else. I love it. One day, this will be every day. I can't believe this thing pushed out another freeze plug. And I can't believe I never come out here when that storm was coming and thought to top this one off. And I can't believe when I just tried to throw that in that window a minute ago, I somehow made it underneath here again. That's a whole lot of can't believe them. I was going to separate the engine from the transmission because pulling it out's a pain in the hiney. But I got a Sawzall, and it ain't like she's got the most beautiful front end on her. Now, I don't know if that Sawzall blade's got enough life in her, uh, but we're going to give her a shot. Also, my first time to ever use this little outlet right here I had installed for outside. Right now, she's just charging batteries, but uh, it feels good to do some first. First engine pull, first time using that. Uh, kind of cool. Mm. I'm just kind of can opener the front end here. and Yeah, be careful not to cut yourself. all right she is looking good here i'd say that's another first uh i know a lot of you guys just saws all that core support out because you're in v8 swap or whatever i've never done that oh we got the good uh distributor in this one that little baby right there uh, got the electronic ignition anyhow uh back to the engine swap thing yeah super dangerous uh and some y'all are like <laughs> it's a little truck big old engine what do you want me to do uh, just put something back in there when you're done <laughs> you know what i mean don't leave it like that uh that way when uh, your aluminum radiator takes a head on and folds itself into a taco uh anyhow that's none of my business I ain't i'm gonna sit here and preach safety as y'all watch me on here and i don't follow safety so i just shut the hell up how's that 
Hmm, what's our engine mounts looking like down here? Oh, I can tell you what they're feeling like. <laughs> feeling like that one stud just had a couple of threads on the nut. All right. But y'all be safe out there, okay? Here comes my family in the boot scooting and yuking. Hmm, we did tighten up this one. Why are those such different sizes? What the hell? Hello, beautiful. trying to thicken me up ain't she she said she brought them girls out here with some gloves and trash bags to pick up trash y'all want that new bedroom you better get over there and earn it that's my other goal there's just pile of this wood and stuff everywhere we gotta kind of get picked up around here and kind of get it cleaned up some mm -mm -mm. what do we got for exhaust here i still can't believe i put them on there as loose as that sucker was uh now i can believe i put those on there <laughs> even have to break torque on that one i definitely put those on there <laughs> oh not only two out of three was holding it because if two wouldn't hold it three never would have so yep i definitely put those on there i think we're all disconnected engine wise especially if we're pulling the trans at the same time you ain't gonna get that trash picked up sitting in that you can there's a shifter boot then there's a shifter boot and then there's a uh shifter boot you picking up trash, baby? Good job. Found you found a beer? <laughs> hey, workers got to relax too, I guess. I found a couple old ones in here myself. Ah, works every time. All right, I guess it's about time to crawl underneath this thing. Little Hot Rod's over there sprinting her little tail off to pick up trash. She's trying to be the fastest. Oh, Hank and KK better step up their game if they're going to keep up with Hot Rod. Let's head down under and see what we're up against. Safety check. Hmm, it ain't pretty. I guess we never had a, this one out before. You would think I could remember this stuff, but I can't. Why would you have a mount that comes from your transmission and bolts to your exhaust? How stupid. It's like they were sitting around and was like, hey, who wants to think of a dumbass mount today? And someone volunteered to design this thing. Another brilliant design here. Uh, put these two bolts underneath this torsion bar where you can't ever get on them. Mm -hmm. I did just cut our uh, rubber hose that goes from our hard line for the clutch to the slave cylinder. So now it's leaking, making a mess. That way it can just roll downhill and get on my back. That was smart. Yeah, I thought I was joking. Oh! I just dipped my head right into that brake fluid, and then that distracted me, and I just dropped that wrench on my head. But y'all be safe out there, okay? Guys, I think everything's disconnected where uh, we could start trying to hoist that thing up out of here. Don't y'all be grabbing no nails. Them girls over there getting after it. First, I got all the trash, and now it looks like they're gathering all the wood ends. That was a good spot right there. Now I'm gonna take a sweet patina bath here. Sweet patina bath, just where you use them old TKO hand cleaning wipes from the sweet patina, cause you just put brake fluid all over the back of your head and you need to clean up. Oh, hook shot for three points, nailed that. If you wanna get you some of them hand cleaning wipes that, guys, this stuff's good, I'm telling you, I love these things. And if you wanna get you some, just head over to sweetpatina.com, use that promo code on the screen. He's got cleaning prop of a product, pr I forgot how to talk. Cleaning products and all kinds of other stuff. I was trying to say that too fast, apparently. Let's get us a chain situated somehow. I'm hoping we can just slip off the uh, drive shaft yoke, by the way. I did not disconnect that because, you know, the bed's off this. And me and Mortsky's had the drive shaft off before, so it'd come off super easy. 
and that would just make stuff way too easy. We like a challenge, okay? That woman over there gonna make me fall in love all over again somehow. I just heard her say, uh, no complaining, just get it, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now they are, they're over there getting after it. I'm proud of them. See the engine moving some. We are definitely uh, off of our engine mount. Valve cover's hitting the lip of our firewall. We actually need to take the truck forward, so this could get a little interesting. We could take the truck back. I guess I could have left this thing off the of jack stands first. But we'll just try to ease forward a hair and see if we don't pull it off the jack stands and make a mess and everything else. But y'all be safe out there, okay? before that way this could get off the lip back there jacked up on her a little more and gave her a tug and she's coming and uh she is definitely draining that's just beautiful clean up on aisle 12 holy crap Easiest engine I've ever pulled guys having that on the back of the truck where I just got to shove the engine transmission whole truck uphill with it in neutral so I can pull it out of there I can't think of an easier way we could have done this now our fluid is still slowly working its way down the concrete and speaking of concrete we got a big old pile of sand right here from them doing concrete so we're gonna scoop us a little and take it over there and uh share it with that uh transmission gear luby dooby this is a job for hot rod she loves playing in the sand hey this is also good because uh it shows my wife i told her we need to add onto the shop right here where it's a horseshoe shape and we can move our merchandise building stuff all into the add-on and she's like why do you want to do that and i'm like you don't realize how ugly it's gonna get on this concrete in front of my shop because y'all know me if it's good weather we're working outside baby so uh perfect example she's over there and every time she looks over here all she's got all she can see is this mess going on she's probably like yeah another building hiding that crap probably wouldn't be too bad right now all right that's good enough for now She'll ride. Oh. That thing rolled down there out of the way. Good enough where I'm happy with it. She did not roll very good. It had nothing to do with that flopping around drive shaft.
hopefully all of our tools are still back here. No! I all said that as a joke and there's a spark plug socket right here. I straight flung all my tools. Well, shit the bed. But y'all be safe out there, okay? It's next morning now. Old P Pimp Daddy p has got his pimp jacket on. Uh, slick fitties with me. And yeah, so this thing used to be full. It is currently empty. And I guess that's what Slick's located in the rear so far. I see another spark plug socket. Uh, yeah, the, the great tool flinging of 2023 happened yesterday. So we're gonna pull out of here, clean out here, see what we can find. Then we're gonna go drive and see what we can locate. Hopefully we'll locate it all. What's Forrest Gump say? Stupid is as stupid does. It was fun though. <laughs> We got all of these, so we actually didn't lose that much. Moral of the story is, before you get buck nasty in that thing, zip up your tool bag. We got everything. I think we're good. Uh, I do think that one spark plug socket is out there somewhere, though. And I ain't got the best eyes on me, but we'll go do a quick drive through and see if we can possibly locate it. In the last video with this thing, uh, when we did the diff, I believe there's some oil underneath the front and I said maybe we had an oil leak but also I could tell that dipstick was hanging out and this thing uh, has no oil underneath it on the concrete so yep I think we're fine there now, if it had an oil leak it'd look like this thing here <laughs> Changed on our accelerator pump just a hair again. Bill told me I was giving her too much, but uh, bumped up the idle, put the accelerator pump back where I wanted it, not where Bill wanted it, and she seems to be pretty happy. Take that, Bill. I started hot riding back here, so we'll just back on down this way. Probably bury that crane into the ground. Up in this corner where I got pretty nasty on it. There's part of the Dewalt tool case, so we're getting close. <laughs> Drove the path again. We still can't find the one socket, so for now I'm gonna call that a loss. Still not bad considering I thought I lost all that crap. We're gonna head back up there and then we'll unhook our crane. Do a hill climb. No problem. We're about to just start picking this crap up. As there's any decent sized blocks, like I know there's like some two by twelves over there that'd be perfect for sitting jack stands on. Maybe some of these two by sixes. We may uh, kind of save something just in case we ever got to work out here in the field or something. We got some wood to work with. We're gonna pile it up and let the half haul haul. thought people wanted to rent the yeehaw for moving people's gonna want to rent this one for cleaning up their job site <laughs> that's true we weren't even planning on slick to help me today we kind of ran into each other but uh boy i'm glad we did because this is not the fastest process but it's got to happen Climb the hill, climb the hill. <laughs> Whoop it over. I don't know if they want that or... I'm assuming that's scrap. Today, exclusively on the website, we've got an endless supply of uh puddings fab shop door stops we're gonna autograph each one we'll stain it to whatever color you like uh you buy it we sign it we stain it and we ship it out just playing but we're talking <laughs> about door stops and there's the mother load right there if one latch wouldn't hold it two never would have <laughs> that poor door's in bad shape right now hey but we're load on we're gonna go dump this baby <laughs> it really does need a 
lower gears though because you got to keep it gassed up to keep it happy but keeping it gassed up as rough as this thing rides is put, it'll put you in bad shape pretty quick you want to try the old reverse trick absolutely <laughs> driving it like a little girl. Let's try again. We tried, she just ain't got the braking power to make that happen. Bang, we just have to let that old well to the diff eat where she could back up, huh? Boy, we got a pile and a half right here. The majestic half hole scurries through the field at full steam ahead the driver slick fitty fearless found it huh? that one yeah so that carb don't seem the happiest in the lower rpms and then uh it's so high geared that if you keep it in the upper rpms you go pretty fast uh, that thing definitely needs some lower gears in it. Me and Slick's just going to keep picking up piles, guys. At this rate, we'll be here another three hours. So I'm going to hit the Pedialyte or whatever this is, and we're going to get after it. We got most of our piles, but we noticed uh, there's some trash blowing around. And we had one thing make it down here to the Great Lake. Oh, that's a mini horse. Yeah. And a donkey. <laughs> and a donkey. <laughs> Yeah, hang a right and go through the pond. Don't threaten me at a good time. Did I mention I'm glad we ran into each other today? <laughs> <laughs> Take out the gray wolf. Oh, 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 it's going. Oh, no. It's going. Get the bumper. That was already there. See, cut the bumper before it hit that. I don't think that was there, Slick. I think you're being nice. Uh, camera died. Dang it. We hopped out up there. Was hightailing it. We didn't get here fast enough. Pretty sure this fender was cherry, buddy. So, yeah, I definitely just did that. There's some mad mini truckers watching right now. <laughs> Can't keep them all. They're not all winners. <laughs> as bad as that thing rolled, I did not think it was going to just take off. I was trying to move it a little bit because it was literally in the most inconvenient spot. It landed in an even less convenient spot. You know who's not going to be happy? Taylor. I told him he could have that thing. <laughs> I can fix it. Sorry, Taylor. Uh, I was lacking judgment there. Y'all be safe out there, okay? Now that grill was already in bad shape. That fender will fix, guys. I mean, a little tug on it here, push on it there, a little hammer dolly work. Ain't gonna be as pristine as she once was, but you know what? I've got all these knocked down now. Yeah, stupid donuts right here and knock them all down. Fold <laughs> <laughs> this thing around that tree like a banana. <laughs> Let her eat. Huh? Let her eat. Knocked it out because it's 
it's a rough ride. <laughs> she let a bit a little bit of smoke out when you ripped it out. <laughs> yeah, that's because it just kissed 11,000 RPMs, buddy. <laughs> Puddin's tree service. Good. It runs so good. Well, Slick ain't got to feel the acceleration the half haul puts out compared to the other ones. Let's see what he thinks here. <laughs> as long as you just keep her plumb pegged that thing's as happy as can be so luckily for us uh being a work truck here we don't mind keeping her plumb pegged battery yeah batteries a little floppy probably give her the flop test <laughs> go ahead and put that back yeah definitely floppy but hey what a work truck we're gonna beat on that thing. That's why I got it. Uh, you gotta have fun, you know? Kinda been working on that thing. Me and Slick just worked our hind's end off. I was like, hey buddy, we got like a pile of two or wood to move. And here we are like- 10 piles later. Yeah, right? and five hours later, we finally got all that wood moved. I'm gonna go show you all that over there in a second. It looks way better. Uh, but yeah, we put in our work. So then we just got to have a little fun. We also had to have some fun to get my mind off the fact I just uh, ruined that fender over there. This looks like ain't no big deal. He can fix it. But then we'd have to pull it off there to fix it. And ain't nobody got time for that. Taylor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Taylor's got time for that. Yeah. We left some of this stuff because I don't know what they need and don't need. Uh, but all this was plumb a mess a day ago. And between them girls getting after it and me and Slick just getting after it. It's looking a hell of a lot better around here. There is a pile or two that I think could probably go to the scrap, uh, but we're gonna wait and verify. That way uh, we ain't costing me more money. Uh, man, I ain't really showed y'all this, and you can see I'm kind of keeping it off the house. I ain't gonna show you quite yet, but it is starting to look just amazing. Uh, they're doing a killer job on this house. I'm freaking pumped. He may be pumped about the house, but I'm more pumped about the pond. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming along. Yeah. Uh, we need something with a few feet of clearance so we can go through that baby one day. Oh, yeah. Well, that uh, it took longer than we thought it would today. But got the engine pulled out the Datsun. Got the Datsun shoved into the Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> Not my proudest moment. We got, uh, we, we put the crane to use. We removed some trees out in the field. We got around the new house cleaned up. All in all, I've had a couple productive days with the old half haul. I don't think she's quite perfect yet. Uh, we need to slap some lower gears in it at some point, but will I ever do that? Probably not. We'll probably leave it exactly how it is until I finally get that wild hair to make it four wheel drive. Uh, as fun as that would be, guys, I don't have that projected anytime soon. I told y'all we gotta drive the wagon here here we gotta drive the uh international the 59 here and the model a here and at the rate they're going on the house i better get those builds done or i'll be a liar and i ain't trying to be no liar i i will go build it at the other house just to drive it here. i won't even move into the new <laughs> shop till they're done <laughs> just so i don't lie uh so that's it i appreciate you guys watching some of this good second channel action i'm on the instagrammer on the patreon uh, i'm glad y'all got to see slick y'all ain't seen him a while on the second channel because i done uh, speedballed some videos all this last week so i know he wasn't in the previous two uh merchandise puddingsfabshop.com all that supports me and my family uh it's making this growing to like a new house this new shop possible so for me and my family to you guys thank you guys i don't know what we've released because i'm projecting out like i was saying so i don't I don't know, guys. Y'all know me. I'm just firing from the hip, okay? So I'll see you guys next time. But do not forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. But it will let you dump the clutch on the half hole 
to shred some fields. And then actually accidentally slip it into neutral and send it to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Hot damn, there's so much BSRE, we had to start a whole channel for all the extras. Be sure to go check out Puddin's Fab Shop if you ain't seen that baby yet. Come on!